We are here at the Rouse's in West Mobile off of Schillinger and Airport alongside Chef Nino, who's got a plate full of something. Alabama. <laughs> we in Alabama. Yeah. Yes, sir, we are. <laughs> yes. But anyway, look at this. <laughs> you want to know how to make a meatloaf turkey burger in Alabama. <laughs> right, right. I can't get Alabama off my... Mine? Said Alabama is a place you ought to go. Okay, all right. Anyway, no, really, these are amazing after school meatloaf turkey burgers. You want to know how to do that? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this here. Okay. Let's jump right into it. All right. We have some ground turkey we're going to put in there. Okay. And so part of the reason why we're calling this after school is because when you use ground turkey and things like that, it's a lot healthier recipe for the kids and the whole family. It's a lot healthier. Kids can get involved. And it's quick for you mom and dads that want to cook. Everyone, everyone needs quick these days. Got to go from one activity to the next, all that sort of stuff. We didn't have that when I was a kid. We had no activity. Yeah. yeah cut the grass. That's right. Weed eaters was a knife. We had a machete. I'm not joking, man. You, when was the last time you said machete? <laughs> I haven't used a machete lately, no. Yeah, uh, I was having that big office you got. <laughs> <laughs> they allow a machete in the office. I don't think that'd be no, a... trust me. Yeah, you know. I can't do that no more. <laughs> All right, so... I have been talked to. <laughs> How do you spell HR? <laughs> okay, we, we're going to put some flavor and some texture in there, the ground turkey. Very lean, but very boring <laughs> in just by itself. It really... But we're, I know I know you. I know you're going to spice it up. Oh! Would you, you know who you're dealing with over here? Yep. Okay, all right. So we got some fresh garlic. We're going to put a little bit of my own Cajun seasoning in there. Um, we want to add some moisture because think about it. There's no fat on the turkey, right. you know? Yeah. Okay, a couple of eggs in there. Okay. Yeah, so turkey is so lean. Sometimes you have like a, a ground beef or something which is like 70, 30, 75, 25, 80, 20. Turkey is very little fat. So therefore you're adding that egg and your trinity there. That's right. We're gonna put about a cup, which is gonna be about one cut of onion. So instead of a cut of onion, onions, bell peppers, and celery, the trinity, okay? Remember, we, we talking about time. You picking up your kids from school, homework, uh, all the activities and then work and so you don't have all afternoon to cook so we trying to accelerate that we're talking about five minutes of prep this way 30 40 minutes in the oven 30 40 yeah that's like, that's like 10 minutes total yeah all right we're gonna come right back here and do less math and more cooking in just a bit Welcome back into Rouse's in West Mobile. Chef Nino in the house. What are we working on? Man, we in Schillinger uh, today, <laughs> and we're making the after-school turkey burgers, yeah. meat, meatloaf turkey burgers, uh -huh. all right? Now, you can do this recipe, put in a meatloaf pan, or you can make some burgers. That's what we did. You saw the finished product, and I'm going to show you how we did it. We got two pounds of ground turkey. We put a couple of tablespoons of ketchup in there, and we're going to put ketchup. After we saute them a little bit, we're going to put them in the oven, put some more ketchup and finish baking them. That's how we did there. Okay, we have some onions, we have some uh, breadcrumbs, we have a couple of eggs, our ketchup. Uh, now we're going to put a little bit of milk in there. Remember, we want to create moisture uh, and then we want to create texture, but we have added in the breadcrumbs, we put some Cajun seasoning. Now we're ready to mix it up. And these are amazing. So what you were talking about earlier was when you have lean ground turkey by itself, there's really not a ton of flavor. So not you want to do what you can to add it. And it's dry, it's not gonna, yeah. you, you need to put moisture and flavor in that thing. Yeah, old dry turkey, no, no one wants that, you know? Now, what I'm feeling here, I have too much wet. Okay, so we're gonna add a little more breadcrumbs, okay? Sometimes you've gotta not follow recipe. So would you just add some more breadcrumbs, uh, Mr. Joe? I know that's not in your contract or everything. <laughs> if you just come down to where the rest of us live. <laughs> no. Yeah. So you more just keep... than happy to help. I, I'm joking, man. <laughs> well, this is my last show. Uh, Cole. Now it was Nino and Joe. Now it's just Joe. Joe no. Joe no. Who? I don't know. Boy, one day I'm gonna be like you. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're working on that. Then you're gonna get it in the pan. And I want more breadcrumbs. You want more? Put more. Right. How much are in there? 
15 servings per container. No, sir. In the <laughs> keep, come on, keep, keep them coming, keep brother. Coming? Keep them coming. That's right. Wow. Wow. That's right. Really? That's good. All right. oh, too much. <laughs> I can tell who's not a cook in there. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, don't know. All right. So we're going to let you keep working on that. And when we come back, are we going to get them in here? Yeah, we're going to get them in there. So basically, we're just going to sear them for about five minutes on each side. Take them out, put some more ketchup, and bake them. That's going to give that meat. And what are these bricks again? This oh my God! Take them off. Take take them off. Take them. Take, take take the aluminum. The brick, aluminum, everything. It's Actual bricks. Actual bricks. Yes, sir. What what are we doing with the bricks? Oh, let me tell you. We got some mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. All right. Um, check this out, Joe. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. I see. see. What I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So look, what we did was we got a little bit of Rouse's olive oil, some seasoning. And uh, th this mushroom here was this thick, just like that. So we're gonna put that on the burger. How about that, huh? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and we, we recommend, uh, all right, we, we, we recommend, the, you know, wrap, wrap your bricks. All right, you look like a rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is this this segment is there's and that's the end of the show, y'all. We're out of time for the rest of the program. You're just kidding. When we come back, round three here with Chef Dino. We'll be back Don't in hit just me. a little bit. <laughs> Time to finish up these healthy-ish, healthier yes. tur turkey burgers, after school, Rouse's turkey burgers, meatloaf, turkey meatloaf burgers. That's right. What, what are we calling it? We call them, uh, let's see. After school turkey meatloaf burgers. Yes, sir. You heard it from the man. It only took us, and the segment's over, just in time for me to get the name out. That's right. Hey. These really are great burgers. So we have a little bit of ketchup in the turkey uh, meat mixture. We put a gentle sear on each side for about five minutes. Now we're going to cover them with, uh, 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 this is uh, ketchup. <laughs> I was trying to catch up. Yeah. It's one of those newer condiments, ketchup. Yes. Never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Always a staple of meatloaf. Any good meatloaf has an abundance of ketchup in there for all the flavors and stuff. So you put that in there for how long? Uh, Till it's done. No, sir. I would say about 30 minutes. Yeah, on 350. So that's what it looks like when it comes out right there. All right. Look at that. Look at look at that burger, y'all. And while I try a bite of this monstrous thing here, tell us a little bit about some of the options here at Rouse's for shoppers. Oh my goodness. Back to school, after school headquarters, tailgating. We are the tailgating headquarters without a doubt on the Gulf Coast the finest produce freshest produce local produce the meat amazing deli all right you go and order at each deli there is an order form you can order complete meals for your next family get-together tailgating etc how about that burger sir delicious really has that essence of meatloaf but in a burger form really cool flavor you guys got to check it out great job chef Nino thank you sir appreciate it all right. and uh, thank y'all for watching and we'll see you at one of the rouses